What's up YouTube? It's your boy Journey back at again with another video and today I know you guys want some Madden 20 content But today we got you guys some Madden 19 gameplay. It's gonna be a $50 money game versus Joe Rice as you guys know I played him uh, Two days ago I believe or three days ago and I beat him for 50 So right now the series is 1-0 me and now this is the second game and This is the first possession that he has he's already at the midfield Dotting, look at him throwing corner outs on Kyle Fuller. Kyle Fuller's got to make a play right there. But as of now, he is super dotting right now, getting to my five yard line with ease. It was so easy for him, but you know how it is, man. It's hard to score in the red zone. And he tries to throw a wheel route, and that is not working. And although we got super dotted to get to the five yard line, we held to three, and that is fine with me. So now we have the ball. We played really good offense last time we played him. And to start it off the game, oh my god, almost a deflection, but instead Tyreek Hill catches it. The dude jumped out of the world, Daryl Green, but he's too small to make a play on that. Right here, first and ten. We're going to throw a playmaker. Look at Tyreek Hill, bam, getting wide open. Trying to make the guy miss, does not get it done, but we are already on the 36-yard line. Look at this laser corner out to Julio Jones. Got second and 16. Pressured, but this is why we have Lamar Jackson. He's going to get to the 20-yard line, third and nine. We're going to throw an out route, and Jeremy Shockley holds on to it. And here I am in a tough decision to take three or go for it. And I end up throwing right at his user. Horrible play call, horrible read. Could have thrown the drag at a time. You know, there's a time I could throw the drag, but, you know, that's, a, that's my fault. But he gets the ball back. And look at that throw, and look at that pass, man. I can't believe he actually caught that. All good, though. He's going to throw the flat route to Shen Sharp, getting one yard line. So now he's up three. One positive about this is I get ball ahead. So if I hold the three or I get a stop right here, I still have a shot. So third and eight. Nothing is open. Look at Jamal Adams making a play. Fourth and eight. Come on. We have one, one time. Let's play defense one time. And look at this. Oh, try to hit stick him. Try to force that ball out of there. But he holds on. First and ten. He's going to throw this crossing route. Good dot. Getting to my two-yard line. And I'm just making it a little too easy on him. But third and goal, he makes a crucial mistake. And instead of taking his guaranteed three, he makes a mistake. Tries to force it. And I get the pick. So now we are back in business. And Joe Mixon, you guys know about Joe Mixon. Look at the stick work. Making everybody miss. Making everyone hit the blockers. And we are off to the races to the 10. Touchdown. Joe Mixon getting a four-point lead, 7-3. to three. Now we need to get another stop right here. Throws a wheel route. And, oh, Jamal Adams almost makes a play on that. If it was in the air for one more second, that was GG's. But he throws this hitch, getting to the 33-yard line, third and two. Let's get a stop. Look at this. Good drag. Throws it. One cut. Jamal Adams too slow to catch him, and he's already at midfield. Actually, in, at our territory, but first and ten. Great defense, but this is just Lamar Jackson being so fast, man. Jason Taylor can't catch up to him, and he gets eight yards off of that. You know, I, I felt like I played really good defense right there, but, you know, that's Lamar Jackson. You can't really, you really can't get mad at that. But first and ten, nothing's open. Playmaker got covered by my user, and then he gets sacked for one yard. Second and 11, come on, man. Let's hold the three one more time. Throws it right at my user, and oh, let that please be accurate. Antoine Buffet needs to make a play on that, but third and 11, Perfect defense, perfect coverage, perfect adjustments, and he can't go anywhere. Ends up taking three. So now I'm at a one. It's a one point ball game, and it's a one point ball game, and I get ball at half. So I just don't want to make any mistakes right here. If I get three, I get three. If I, you know, just don't force anything where he can get the ball back. So first and ten. He gives me the post route wide open, and that was what I wanted, man. We get three points out of this last possession, unless I get sacked at a field goal range, but that's Lamar Jackson doing work, breaking the tackle, and giving me a chance to kick this field goal, and we end up, do, we have not, we end up doing that, and now we are up four with ball. We just got to play smart, and look at this corner out wide open. Lamar Jackson running out the pocket, throwing that laser seven for ten. We are playing an efficient game right now. Joe Mixon giving him the ball. Five rushes, 108 yards. Literally insane. And to finish off the drive, we're going to throw a seam route to Galladay. And he makes a crazy diving catch. 
four and 11 point lead. Let's go, man. Come on. We got to just keep playing like this, and we're going to be straight. Throws a push out. Great tackle. And this is what you call user abilities. He didn't think I was actually going to stick with that post route, and I do. And Antoine Bethea getting that pick over Julio Jones. That boy came up big for me right there. But third and six, high ball to Jeremy Shockey, incomplete. We're in tight offset. And these, this is great adjustments by Joe Rice. He guarded the curl route himself. Crosser was guarded. And, you know, he gets the ball back. So now, first and ten, he's going to throw the playmaker. Jamal Adams gets blocked, gets off. He, he jukes and then trucks, and now he's already on the three-yard line. That's something about Bunch, man. Bunch is so hard to contain for such a long time. You know, you can contain it here and there, but it's so hard to contain it for the whole game. He's going get, get, to get plays like that all the time, but look at Joe Mixon. Boom, one cut, and he's off to the races. Is he trying to go all the way? Nope, he's not fast enough to run away from Rob Woodson. Rob Woodson wasn't having it. His boy already got one cut it. He's not letting himself get one cut it, so... We're giving the ball to Joe Mixon once again. Third and one. We're going to step up in the pocket. Cross route wide open. Dot Julio Jones going up 11 in the fourth quarter. There's no way we can blow this lead, right? There's no way, right? And that's what I said until I gave up this play. A one-play touchdown. That should not have been a one-play touchdown. At least get caught by Ed Reed or make the tackle by the safety. We need something right there. And that just puts him in the game. Like All he needs is one stop now. And he's back. But Joe makes a look at that. Spin move. And go, go, go to the 50. Oh, my God. I could have got more yards there, but I tried to make a play. First and 10, though. Mm. Try to go for the bomb. Tyree kill. Overthrown. Now we are on a second and 10. He's on aggressive, I can tell. But, you know, I'm telling you guys this right now because I wasn't in the game. I wasn't hard snapping. And it was my fault for not hard snapping. This dude was on aggressive for, you know... Oh my god, I just throw a user pick. But he is on aggressive, and I have to realize this while I'm in the game. I'm realizing this because the animation the D-line's getting, getting right now. But once I'm in the game, I have to have a little bit more awareness on the D-line. You gotta realize I'm getting shedded, but look at this, man. After that user pick, he throws an absolute laser. My deep half got killed right there, and now I'm on a money drive. I can either get seven, or I can try to get three to put this to overtime. Just can't get stopped right here. We're going to start it off good, getting a 15-yard rush with Joe Mixon. Throwing the drag out of Jeremy Shockey. Getting killed. Oh, my God. Sean Taylor wasn't playing around right there. And third and four. Look at the D-line, man. This is what I mean by having, you know, I just got to have a little bit of awareness, man. Frank Clark is shedding my soul away. And now I'm on a fourth and eight. And nothing is open. I throw the post route. Tyree Kill is absolutely smothered. Oh, man, just don't let him return this so I can have a chance. So I can have a chance. And we do end up tackling him. We just need a chance, man. But we put him on a third and 20. 45 seconds left. And we do end up sacking him. And now it's a 41 seconds on the 35. He has to punt it. Maybe we can get something going here. All we need is three points. So Tyree Kill, get in the ball. Someone block for me. Come on, man. But first and 10, I see a one-on-one -on -one and I have to take it. Julio Jones, he catches it. Oh, he drops it at the end. Oh, my God. That's a heartbreaker right there. And then after that, I just throw up some wild stuff. I get hit. And Rod Woodson or Troy Appy, whoever that is, gets the game winning pick. And that will do it. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. That was a crazy game uh, by me and Joe Rice. So, that series is at 1-1. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed, though. I'm out of here. Until next time, peace out, y'all.